Hey guys, Bailey Rawson here. Hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. This time I'm going to be unboxing my brand new iPhone 11 Black 64GB version. Originally I wasn't going to upgrade for my iPhone 8 Plus as it still works perfectly fine and I'm still very happy with it. However, I decided to switch carriers from Vodafone to Optus. You may not have it in other countries, but these are some of your carriers you get in Australia. Anyways, I decided to switch as Vodafone has shocking coverage over here, particularly in regional areas. Like for example, when I went on a camp with some of my mates, I wanted to ring my family to see how they were going and stuff, but I couldn't ring them, whereas my friends could. Pretty bad, isn't it? So that's why I decided to switch to Optus since they have one of the best coverages in Australia. And while I was switching to Optus, they decided to offer me a new phone, which happened to be this iPhone 11. You may also be wondering, why don't you just go for the iPhone 12? The iPhone 12 is the newest and greatest iPhone out. Well, the reason I went for the iPhone 11 was actually because there isn't really much difference aside from the faster processor, new design, and the better camera, of course. And I figured it would be better to go for the iPhone 11 because the 11 was available for $10 cheaper under the plan I'm going for. So anyways, let's dive straight to this video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is look around the box. On the front of the box, you have a picture of the black iPhone 11. On this side of the box, you have a black Apple logo. On this side, you have the black iPhone branding. And on this side, you have a black Apple logo again. And on this other side, you have the black iPhone branding again. And on the bottom of the box, you get some of the information about the iPhone 11, like its serial numbers and what the packaging includes. One thing to note is that compared to last year, supposedly the iPhone 11 packaging has changed to match like the iPhone 12. So it supposedly doesn't include a brick, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna lift this little tab of plastic. And let's lift the lid. Alrighty, so first off, you get the black iPhone 11 itself. Wow, this looks beautiful. The black is really, really shiny in this phone. Let's put this aside for now. So first off, you get the design by Apple in California. So we'll slide all that out. Here you get a little quick start guide on the buttons in the iPhone 11, such as the power button, the sleep wake button, and the volume buttons, all that, which I'll we'll explain later. We have a SIM ejection tool some regulatory and warranty information, and just one Apple sticker as opposed to two Apple stickers like they have on the MacBooks and my past iPhones. And next up, we have the Lightning to USB-C cable. This is the first time Apple has offered a Lightning to USB-C cable. So this is the Lightning to USB-C cable. This is how long it is. It is, well, it's not the longest length out but that's what they usually do with iphones anyway Alrighty, so we now have the iphone 11 itself we're going to take off the plastic on the screen oh i just love that sound really wow this black looks absolutely stunning i'm probably gonna get my fingerprints in here in a minute so we're going to go around the phone real quick on the front you get the 6.1 inch retina display at the front on the left side of the phone you have the sleep wake button and then the volume buttons on this side you get nothing on the right side of the phone, you have the power button slash Siri button. On the bottom of the phone, you have the lightning port along with two speaker and microphone grills. On the back of the phone, you get the dual lens camera with one of them is an ultra wide angle and the other is for wide. And you also get a flash at the back. So let's do a quick comparison size wise with my now outgoing iPhone 8 Plus. The iPhone 11 isn't too much smaller. The screen size is bigger, but the overall dimension of the phone is very slightly small. You won't really know, you can't really notice a difference. One thing to note is that the iPhone 11 definitely does feel a lot, a bit lighter than the iPhone 8 Plus, which feels a little bit heavy. In terms of thinness, both appear to be very similar. However, the iPhone 11 appears to me to look very slightly thicker, but I could be wrong with this one. Alrighty, so we're now gonna set up the iPhone 11. So we're gonna press the power button, hold the power button. And here we have a glowing white Apple logo as they always usually do on the iPhones. Alrighty, so it's now saying hello in a bunch of different languages, as you can see, bonjour, yep. So we're gonna swipe up, choose English as the main language, and we're in Australia, setting language. So, all right, so we've got the little quick start thingy. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign and set up. I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna set this phone up manually. So we're gonna choose a Wi-Fi network. Okay, now that I've signed into my Wi-Fi network, I'm going to click Next. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Alrighty, so I've just inserted my SIM card into the phone, and it's now asking us about data and privacy, so we're going to click Continue. 
And we're gonna set up Face ID very quickly. Now, this replaces Touch ID, as a lot of you may know. So it's saying how to set up Face ID so you position your face in the camera, all that. So let's get started. So position your face within the frame. I'm gonna do that right now. I apologize, I do look very stupid doing this. So the second Face ID scan is now complete. It is now set up. So now we're going to create a passcode. So now it's telling us about apps and data, whether we want to back up from iCloud or transfer directly from other iPhone. Normally when I get an iPhone, I actually like to start completely fresh and basic. So you click don't transfer apps, apps and data. So now it's going to sign in with their app. Now it's, going to, now it's asking us to sign with their Apple ID. All right, so it's now asking for a verification from my other devices. So I'm going to do that for my other iPhone right now. So on my old phone is saying Apple ID sign in requested. So I'm going to click allow. Now I'm going to enter in the verification code. So terms and conditions, I uh, can't agree to that. Yes, of course, I'm going to agree to that. So it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Alrighty, so after doing some more verification stuff, it's asked me to set up Apple Pay, which I'll set up later in Wallet. Improve Siri dictation, share audio recordings. Uh, no, I don't want my privacy on there. Um, screen time is really, really good, but I'm actually gonna set that up later in settings once all my apps are downloaded. So iPhone analytics, or how you pronounce it, I don't know. I'm not gonna share. So this is now showing the True Tone display like it does with your MacBook setup. And so it's saying see without True Tone display. As you can see, the True Tone display makes the phone display look a lot more vibrant. And now of course it adapts to the ambient lighting conditions to make colors appear consistent. Yes, I am reading off this because my brain is not working today. So I'm gonna hit continue. So now it's asking me to set up my appearance which I'm obviously going to click dark mode since I think dark mode looks 10 times more sexier than light mode in my opinion. So I'm going to click continue. And now it's asking me to set up display zoom, which I'm going to leave it on standard. So welcome to iPhone, swipe up to get started. And here we are set up onto iOS 14. I'm getting lots of notifications already as you can probably see. And, the, and iOS 14 looks really, really nice in the iPhone 11 in my opinion. It looks nicer than on the um, iPhone 8 Plus. So that is it guys for my iPhone 11 unboxing video. I'm actually recording this part right now with my iPhone 11 actually. I'm sorry this is probably my crappiest unboxing ever as I couldn't really describe things as one, I'm very, very tired because I've done a lot of work over the past week. Two, the camera that I was using to record most of the video actually kept on stopping a couple of times. So that was a bit of a pain in the bum in itself. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video regardless and please leave a like, subscribe and a comment if you can. This is Barry Ethan Rawson signing out. Be quiet please, sorry. So this is how long, so here is the lightning, so here is the lightning, so this is the lightning to USB-C cable, this anyway. On the bottom of the phone, you have the lightning port along with two speaker, speaker and microphone grills. Uh, let's focus. This camera won't focus. I better clean the lens. Focus, you stupid bug.